So you already know how to drive a manual transmission, you know the basics, you want to learn how to heel toe downshift and rev match downshift. I've angled my camera down so you can see my gear selector, you can see the revs a little bit easier, and I also have a foot camera that will show us what my feet are doing. Because really, I can explain this till I'm blue in the face, but really showing it is the best way to learn how to do this. I must say, rev match downshifting is relatively safe, relatively easy, but heel toe downshifting can be a little bit of a struggle sometimes. And I will say, do not practice this in a normal driving environment. Practice this in a parking lot or in a safe, safe space. Uh, you're more likely to spin out, you're more likely to uh, make some mistakes, and uh, just be careful doing this on the road when you're just starting off. Well, that said, let's get going. So the perfect car to do this in is my 2014 Subaru BRZ. I love how fluid this car is to drive. Every car will be different. But a lot of this is just down to timing. So let's say we want to rev match downshift from fifth to fourth here. All we're gonna do, we're gonna put the clutch in, you're gonna give it just a quick blip with your right foot. And you know, depending on your throttle response, the amount of time it takes to shift between gears, that's all gonna vary between cars. But you're gonna to wanna to kinda of get into this rhythm of what it takes to rev match to the next lowest gear. You're blipping as you're letting out the clutch. And the clutch kind of aids in finding that match for the revs too. You're basically just gonna giving the engine some more assistance. So it's, it's kind of one fluid motion. You're not revving up and then letting out the clutch. You're revving up as you're letting out the clutch and you're just kind of assisting it going out. And it's pretty much down to timing and muscle memory. The more you do it, the more comfortable you get with rev matching. And heel toe is the same thing. You're just putting your foot on the brake pedal. Some cars make a little bit easier of a job than this than others. In some vehicles, it's easy to do when you're pushing really hard down on the brake pedal. In other cars, you can just lightly press the brake pedal and move your foot over like this to get that effect. So here's an example into a braking zone. You're just giving it a little bit of a rev. The, the trick is to keep constant pedal pressure on the brakes and not you know, do, do anything crazy to upset the car. You want to keep the car in a constant uh, state so as not to upset the balance under braking. See, it's one fluid motion where you just kind of mash all the pedals down at once. That, that pedal down for that gas pedal down just for a little bit longer 
And over time, you kind of memorize the timing that you need to hold the pedal down uh, and the revs that you need to raise up to match that next lowest gear. Think about it, it's the opposite of upshifting. And I will say the BRZ is particularly easy and fluid to do this with. There are some cars that really shine in this department. The Miata is one. the advantages of this it's a smoother driving experience you're not letting the clutch out potentially locking the rear wheels you're not upsetting the car as much it sounds kind of cool and it's easier on your drivetrain components Show you guys a six to third again here. So we're in sixth gear. I know the amount of time that it takes just based on experience that I need to hold my uh, my right foot down. It's just a split second longer than normal. Here in a hard braking zone. just quick motions. So hopefully this is giving you guys a pretty good idea by showing you how this all works. When you're first starting off, you're not gonna be perfect. There's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve. And you'll kind of have to relearn every new car that you drive. But that's the fun of it. For me, this truly makes driving a manual transmission a more enjoyable experience. And it's funny because I've, I learned to do this at a very, very early age, right about when I first got my license. And I've been kind of doing it ever since. So I was thinking like, what's the best way to teach this? And uh, really to me showing and, and seeing has, has been the best way to learn this type of stuff. out today.
Alright guys, we'll get one more in here for you. Also, when you're rev matching, when you're downshifting, you want to focus on keeping your foot on the brake pedal because that's important. You're, you're in a braking zone. You need to slow down. Anyway, guys, go try it out in a safe space. I will say that when I first learned to do this, uh, it was in a Miata on an autocross course and I actually spun the car a couple times. So keep that in mind. Uh, be smooth with your inputs. Uh, don't go drive beyond your limits, but uh, have fun with this. It's definitely a neat skill to acquire. And uh, yeah, hashtag save the manuals. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And uh, if you need, I'll do a follow-up video, but hopefully this covers all the questions that I've had over the years on this topic. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys later.